erase your time capsule hard drive is to open up airport utility. You can spotlight search, find airport utility, and then it's going to open it up to this window. You'll see a, uh, uh, a schematic diagram of the devices on your network, and you want to find the time capsule router. Click it once, you will see a pop up window to select to edit. I'm going to go into that. It's going to drop down, you're going to see disks over on the uh, right hand side top corner select disks you will see the drive that's inside the time capsule make sure it's selected it's probably already selected from here you have a couple of different choices uh, you could either erase the disk right then or you could deal with some file sharing capabilities if you wanted to leave the hard drive on the network you could set a disk password so that it lives only uh, it has a separate password than the the network itself or you could just disable that altogether. If you dis if you uncheck enable file sharing, then this is not going to be an option. So I'm going to just set it back to the way it was, and I'm going to go back to erase the drive now. So with the drive selected, I'm going to erase it. It's going to drop down. I'm going to rename that drive, and I can choose quick erase, which is non-secure, or I could zero it, uh, overwrite the data. This is going to take an extremely long time if you want to go this way, several hours, or you could just select quick erase, which is good for most people. So you choose erase. We have to then uh, continue to verify, and it's going to say that the network's not going to be available for a couple of minutes. Hit continue. The time capsule now falls off the network, and when it restarts, uh, there it goes falling off right now. When it restarts, then the drive is erased, or I should say the file map is gone. The data is actually still there if you choose quick erase, but it would take a pretty significant effort to recover those files. Uh, in terms of you'd have to open up the time uh, capsule physically, you'd have to take the drive out, you have to give it to someone that understands how to recover that data, and it's not the easiest thing to do in the world. Uh, that's it.